What's going on? Where's everybody going? We're getting out of here, and if you know what's good for you, so will you. All of you. But why? What's happened? Have they run out of marshmallows? This place is too creepy for words. You have to be a complete idiot to stay here. I'll just put your tent up for you then. There must be a mistake. This place is amazing. Most of us have been here before and had a great time. Well, not anymore. There's been some things happening. Things? What kind of things? Noises at night mostly, but also during the day. Terrible screeching noises. Some say it's the ghost of an old camp supervisor from the 1950s who was driven crazy by the constant happiness and never ending choruses of Kumbaya. Don't be ridiculous, that's just an old story. Surely you don't believe in ghosts? No, well, at least we didn't, but it's not just the noises. What do you mean? There must be some reasonable explanation for this. Yes, I'm sure there is, and when someone finds out, me and Marvin will be waiting as far away from here as possible. Oh, come on, you guys. The next bus isn't due for at least another hour. We might as well go and see what we can find out. Yeah, DM me when you do. Come on, it'd be fun. An adventure, a mystery to solve. This will be the best camp ever. You guys stay here. We're gonna go have a look around, see what we can find out. Well, I guess that's the last we'll see of them. Heck of a fright. Yeah, sorry about that. I thought you were the ghost. Ghost? You know, the one that's been scaring everyone to death every night and during the day too. Yeah, the old caretaker. Oh, that. Yeah. You mean it's true? I don't know. I don't usually believe in that sort of nonsense. But lately, so much has been going wrong for Uncle Tim. I wouldn't be surprised if it was true. Uncle Tim? He's gone into town and left me in charge. To get food? No, he's gone to the bank to ask for a loan since the noises has been bad. He was planning to give this place a bit of a facelift, but no customers means no money. That's terrible. It's not just the noises though, is it Caroline? What about the zombie campers? You haven't told them about the zombie campers. Z zombie campers? Yes, every time the strange noises are heard, one of the campers mysteriously disappears and then turns up later as a zombie and tries to eat anyone left in the camp. That's why we were packing up when you arrived. One of our friends disappeared last night. And we aren't going to hang around for her to come and eat us in the night time. I don't blame you. 
if it wasn't for the fact that Uncle Tim had left me in charge until he comes back from town, I'd be gone. Where are you going? To pack. As soon as Uncle Tim gets back, I'm gone. You guys should do the same. But what about our friend? up here but I think it's time someone found out what's been going on. What should we do? Let's split up, see what we can find. what's been going on here. But we'll need one more piece of evidence to prove that I'm right. What? One of those zombie campers. What? Are you nuts? I think I know what Sarah has in mind and I have an idea of how we're gonna do it. Everyone, listen up. work perfectly. But I don't understand. If they aren't really zombies, who are they? <gasps> Samantha, it's you! We thought you'd been turned into a zombie. Why would you do something like this? I think I can explain this. You see, the camp was on site of a new supermarket. But Mr Murdoch refused to sell the land to them. Exactly, so they decided to scare off any campers by persuading some of them, like Samantha here, to dress up and put on some stage makeup to scare the rest of you off. Meaning the campsite would go bust and Mr Murdoch would have to sell his land for less than it's worth. But what about the bag of money? Yeah, if Mr Murdoch had all that money, why would he go to the bank and borrow more? Ah, that was the final clue. This is a receipt for shopping. So? The shopping was done at Asco Supermarket. 
the same supermarket who wanted to build on the campsite. Correct. The money was a bribe. So they were bribing Mr. Murdoch. <gasps> <gasps> Caroline! But why? Why? Because Uncle Tim was being a fool. This campsite is so lame. He thinks it's still 1956. He doesn't understand that kids don't want this kind of thing anymore. It's just nerds like you that want this sort of thing. With money from the supermarket, we could have created my own online empire. By this time next year, I, we could have been mega rich. So you took the bribe from the supermarket and used it to pay the campers to pretend to be zombies so that Mr. Murdoch would have no choice but to sell up. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you interfering dweebs. So, Mr Murdoch sent Caroline back home to her parents? Yeah, he didn't want to press charges, but apparently they're planning on sending her to a boarding school in Germany in September, so she won't be causing any more problems here. And best of all, we get to spend a fun-filled week at camp. Compliments of Mr Murdoch. Fun field and zombie free.